I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for participating actively and posting brilliant questions. This question comes from one of our subscribers who wants to understand the technique of finding the value of k when a polynomial is divided by another polynomial. I hope it is going to help many others. The question here is, if x cubed plus 5x squared minus k is divided by x squared plus 2, the remainder is 2x. Find the value of k, right? Now, what we could perform here is long division to find the solution. So we need to divide x cubed plus 5x squared minus k. We have to divide this by x squared plus 2, right? So that is the strategy. And we know that results into remainder of 2x. So that should get, give, give us the value for k, correct? Okay. So let's perform long division. x cubed plus 5x squared. Now x term is missing here. So we use a placeholder. 0x, right? That is the placeholder. And then we have minus k here. Right? Divisor is x squared plus 2. Here also, we need a placeholder for x, correct? So this placeholder helps to align the values. That's the whole thing. Now, this is a trinomial. So we'll take three terms. Multiplying by x, we get x cubed plus 0x squared plus 2x and when you take away you get 5x square minus 2x minus k now we have to multiply by 5 so get plus 5 here so we get 5x square plus 0x plus 10 now when you take away you get your remainder which is minus 2x minus k and that is minus 10. Now that is the remainder but you want remainder to be 2x correct the question is that the remainder is 2x so what should be the value of k so that implies that minus 2x minus k minus 10 should be equal to 2x clear so taking this on the left side we get minus 2x minus 2x we are taking this 2x on the left side minus 10 equals to k correct so which is minus 4x minus 10 equals to k so we get the value of k which should be minus 4x minus 10 is that clear to you right now, since the remainder is 2x, that is what the value of k will be. So, we can now write down our answer. And the answer is that k is equal to minus 4x minus 10. Perfect. So, that is how the question can be solved. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.